Well, here in Israel, we've just had the uh, Jewish holiday of Purim. Purim, of course, is a remembrance of what happened in the story of Esther. And uh, Esther was born for such a time as this. Evil Haman, we all know the story, wanted to kill the Jewish people. And he wanted to completely and destroy them. But Esther was born for such a time as this to be able to come and rescue the Jewish people and to see them saved. And here in Israel, we celebrate that and it's a joyous time because all the children are out on the streets. They dress up in fancy dress and costume and, and look nice on the streets. Even the adults dress up in fancy dress costume. And in the synagogue and in the churches, the story of Esther is read. And whenever the name of Mordecai is, is, is announced, then everybody gives a great big cheer. And then when the name of Haman is announced, everybody gives a great big boo. And it's just a remembrance of the fact that God can rescue his people. And we need to remember that today, whenever we're going through times of difficulty and circumstance, maybe even persecution, God knows how to rescue his people. But are you born for such a time as this? God knows you. He knows everything about you. He knows the good, he knows the bad, and he knows the ugly. He knew you before you were born in your mother's womb. Nobody is an accident. There's not one person here in life is an accident. God knows each and every one of us. What's your destiny and what's your purpose? It's an important question. What is your destiny and what's your purpose? Is your destiny to change society or is it to allow society to change you? You know, I've, there's the joke of there's so much apathy in the world and I can't be bothered to do anything about it. God can use us. God can use us to change a nation and to change society. If we look at the story of William Wilberforce, he abolished slavery. This is one man, but God put him in the right place at the right time. He put him in as a member of char parliament and he was able to challenge and change the rules. One man broke slavery and changed the rules. If God can use one man like William Wilberforce, then he can use you and he can use me. For me, what's my destiny, what's my purpose? God is using me to start and establish a Christian radio station here in Bethlehem. Well, who am I? I'm a person who God has called. God puts a calling on each and every one of our lives. God wants you to fulfill your destiny and to fulfill your purpose because you were born for such a time as this. He wants to equip you so that you can achieve everything that God has planned he wants you to achieve everything. He wants to give you the finances and everything so that you can fulfill your destiny and you can fulfill your purpose that he has planned for your life. Esther was on a divine mission to save the Jews. She, she got in line with God's will. She created a future for the Jewish people because the Jewish people didn't have a future. Haman wanted to totally destroy the Jewish people. He wanted to totally annihilate the Jewish people. They had no future. But Esther came along and gave them a future and gave them a hope where there was no future and there was no hope. Her destiny, if she chose to accept it, was to save the Jewish people. She didn't have to accept it. After all, God gives each and every one of us free will. Esther had free will. She could have said, well, no, I, you know, I, I just, I can't be bothered. It's not for me. You know, maybe I'm too young. You know, I, I'm a woman, you know, maybe this should be left over for a man instead. But God had a destiny and a purpose for this woman and she accepted it and now she's written in the Bible. She's considered and she's classed as a hero today. God's destiny was to save the Jewish people. If Esther had said no, God's destiny was still to save the Jewish people. He would have just used somebody else instead. You know, Esther would have probably lost her life because she wasn't prepared to, to, to give her life and risk her life to save somebody else. But God's destiny was to save the Jewish people. He was going to do it anyways, with or without Esther, he would do and fulfill his promises. But he gave Esther a divine opportunity, a divine chance to save the Jewish people. And she accepted it. She accepted the challenge and she went into the king, even though she knew that she could die. Going into the king meant death if you weren't requested to go in. She knew that she could be killed just for going in there, but she was willing to risk her life to save the Jewish people because she was born for such a time as this. And God responded and God gave a positive result. Today, God wants to use you. 
But are you willing? Are you willing to be used by God? Are you willing for God to come and speak into your heart and speak into life, into your life and say, this is what I have for you. This is the plan that I have for you. This is the purpose I have for you. It's scary sometimes, but God wants to build faith. God wants to give you the faith to do what he's calling you to do. And you may not have the faith at first when God speaks to you, but that's okay because God will teach you faith. He will teach you that he will be your provider. He will show you and he will open doors that you could never even imagine would ever, ever open. Because God wants to teach you this. It's all part of our Christian life and our Christian faith that we begin to develop a deeper and stronger relationship with God. If we don't have faith, it doesn't matter because God will teach us it. Are you willing? You may have excuses. Yeah, I'm too old. I'm too young. I'm too fat. I'm too thin. You know, but if God can use a donkey, he can certainly use you. God can use each and every one of us for his plan and for his purpose. Are you willing? It's all about obedience. It's not about gifting. It's about obedience because God can give you gifting. It's whether you'll be obedient to his word, whether you listen to his word and do what he is calling and do what asking the link. Bombs and book to people and take cost but oh you my first two people didn't explain, didn't accept what I was doing, didn't have the faith to it, you have the faith to it, and I bonks the children. So when we are obedient to God, when we're obedient to God speaking into our lives, then we receive the blessing as well. God wants to love us when he, he, he blesses us, when he gives us hope, when he gives us a purpose, he also provides. You know, you, God just wants to see obedience. Obedience is the most important thing from our lives. It's the most important thing to God. You know, we can go to church, we can go to church every day. We can pray every day. You know, we can give our money every day. God wants, God wants obedience. He wants an obedient heart. If you be hard, there's God listening. He's not listening. He's not listening. Pray. Now, free Jonah, but God wants you. Are you running away or are you listening to God? God has a call for each and every one of us. He has a destiny, a purpose for each and every one of us. But are we listening or are, and are we obedient to what He's saying and what He's calling? Whatever we go through today, it doesn't matter what we go through in our life, God can use that for His purposes and for His plans. You know, you might be someone who's been an alcoholic. Oh, God could never use me. Well, God can use you to speak to the alcoholic. How? Because you understand what he's going through. You would understand why a person would turn to alcohol. You would understand what it's like to be addicted to drugs because you've done it, so even who's addicted into drugs. The person who's been abused, you can understand why someone would go back to an abusive husband or an abusive wife. And again, as you've been in that situation, you've been in that circumstance, so you can reach out and help people who are in the same situation in the same circumstances because you have a destiny and you have a purpose God doesn't bring us out of our circumstances for nothing he brings us out so that we can go out and reach others that we can do and touch other people's lives God just wants to see obedience in us are you a person who's obedient Esther's destiny if she chose to accept it was to save the Jewish people she was going to save the Jewish people. God had called her to do it. She just needed to be in the day to help others, to show love, because that's ultimately what people want. If you look around all around society and all around life, people are just looking for love. Even if they're doing bad things today, they're just looking for love. I remember a few weeks ago, I was in the yard and I saw her niece was there, and the dog went up to her and sat right next to her, but didn't do anything. And I could see what he wanted. He just wanted to be stroked. And he was waiting there to be stroked. All he wanted was love. And really, that's the same of each and every one today. All is just to be love. So if we have a world that is hurting, if we have a, a world that is just looking for love, we have an answer and we have a solution. We can go out there and we can show love to a hurting world. We can show love to a hurting society because that's really what they want. Esther is a hero of the Bible. She had destiny and she fulfilled it. What about you? What's your destiny? What's your purpose? What is God saying to you today? Allow God to provide for you in every step of the way. Get a vision from God. Get a focus from God and be obedient to his calling because today you were born for such a time as this.